Welcome back to Houston Life. When it comes to the internet, we use it for almost everything, right? Work, shopping, connecting with friends and family, and of course, uh, you know, launching Netflix, staying entertained. According to a new study, 87% of Houstonians consider their internet service a common household utility, just like water or electricity. But how do you know you're getting the best service, the best speed, and the best price? There are more options than you, than you might know, and a totally free website that can be a huge help. Here with more on how HighSpeedInternet.com can help you weigh your options. Managing Director Manuel Delgado, welcome. You're Managing Director of HighSpeedInternet.com. Correct. I love that this is a free service, and I was just telling you during break, your timing is perfect. I'm so glad you're on Houston Life today. Hurricane Barrel hits Houston. People lose power, but people also lost their internet. My neighborhood group chat was blowing up. People saying, what internet service provider do you have? Is it reliable? We have this one. It drops all the time. Your website essentially helps people avoid those headaches. That's exactly right. And thanks for having me here. Excited to be here to talk about this. But you're exactly right. Internet is a utility. In our day and age, we yeah. use it for everything. It's critical. Exactly, exactly. So at High Speed Internet, one of the things that we do is help people do the comparison shopping to make the decision on which internet service is the best for them. And one of the interesting things that we found as we were do all this work here in Houston, one third of the people that we spoke to actually say that they have issues with their internet service once a month, which for us is like, if you have a problem with your utility that frequently, then you might want to consider other options that might be better for you. Totally. Well, and also, if your internet is dropping once a month, nobody should accept that as normal. If your power is going out once a month or you lost your water once a month, like, oh, it's just out for a day, we've had some issues with our internet, previous internet service provider. And a lot of us, a lot of our viewers probably know what it's like to have that drop. I'm surprised the number's only a third of people right. having issues. So explain to us how the website works then. People go to highspeedinternet.com and then what happens? Yeah, so we have a team of internet experts on highspeedinternet.com and we have lots of resources to help with all this. We have things like troubleshooting guides, uh, equipment reviews, suggestions on what kind of service you should sign up for, um, and all of this to help with a comparison shopping experience to help everyone find the best internet for them. Interesting, okay, so it's not just about breaking down the price and the speed levels, you're actually helping people navigate, as you said, any exactly. issues, you help them troubleshoot with that. Um, also, what are we seeing right now? Is this an internet, like a speed test, essentially? Yeah, that's exactly right. So this is one of the tools that we have on the site, because speed is obviously an important factor with internet service. And anyone can download this app, it's for free. So you go to your favorite mobile app store on Apple or Android devices, search high-speed internet, you click that speed test app with the little hummingbird in the logo, and within a few seconds, you'll learn what your download speed is and what your upload. And your upload. Exactly. And that's a critical point too. I feel like now that we're in this era of people working from home, if you work in an industry exactly. like mine where you're dealing with video and photos, you need to be able to upload something very, very quickly. Everyone is streaming you know, videos right now, sometimes multiple devices in the house. And oftentimes what people are paying for, they may think they're getting one speed, but then they do your test and they realize, oh, wait a minute, I'm not actually getting speeds that fast. Yep, yep, and we have resources to help walk you through that because it might be the equipment that you're using, it might actually be the service. There are different factors to consider and we'd like to help everyone understand that as they're making that decision on to which internet service is the best. Yeah, well, and it can be a big decision because if people are signing up for a year or whatever and it's a monthly cost, you add that up and multiply it by 12, it can be a lot of money. Okay, this uh, stat blew me away. There are 27 different internet service providers in the Houston area? Yeah, so across Houston, and the availability varies depending on the exact location, but there's a really high likelihood that if you enter your zip code on the site, you will see multiple internet service providers that are available and then you can you have a better idea of what you like what questions to ask who to go to and, and see what, what is available for you. Yeah, and you can make a more educated decision. We're seeing right now some video of the way your website works. So you enter your zip code, exactly. you, uh, you click enter, and then up pops some of your options. What about people who live in a more remote area? Maybe they don't have access to the infrastructure for like fiber internet. Do you have satellite internet options as well? Yes, we partner with all the major internet service providers nationwide, and we work with them to make sure that they're represented on the site in the best way for the customers to, to understand what is available. Satellite internet is definitely one of those. Fixed wireless, T-Mobile is doing a lot 
trying to grow that um, that side of their business. So yeah, there are. You'd be surprised at how many options are actually available for you. I'm already surprised. I think, I mean, before the segment, if I had to name the internet service providers in our area, I could probably name three or four. Let's uh, talk about cost before we let you go. 72 bucks is the average price Houstonians are paying. Correct. So just to clarify, this is not the average cost of internet in our area. Correct. That's what Houstonians are paying. That seems high to me. Am I off base? It, it can vary greatly depending on the service that you choose and and what you want, maybe you're leasing equipment from this internet service provider. Again, we talk through all of that. We have resources to help you know what the best equipment is. Maybe you don't need to pay extra for that. Maybe you can save by buying a, a different piece of equipment. Or maybe you are paying for too much internet that you don't actually need. We have a tool for that also to help you understand how much speed do you actually need. And best of all, it's totally free, highspeedinternet.com. Even if you're saving 10 or 20 bucks a month, 20 bucks a month is 240 bucks a year. That's real exactly. money. Exactly. Okay, Manuel Delgado, thanks so much for stopping by Houston Life. Absolutely, thank you so much for it's having very me. Very interesting. You blew my mind. 27 different options. I'm actually going to reevaluate our internet service at home after this segment. Great. In the meantime, if you'd like to check to see if you are getting the most reliable internet access and the best deal available to you, once again, that website is highspeedinternet.com. Totally free. Give it a whirl.